So, a vampire showed up here looking for me. Okay, we gotta go upstairs and talk to him, I guess. Because he is upstairs. Very strange indeed. Very, very strange indeed. Um, no, this isn't the right way. Hmm. How do I get up there? Ezran, you made your freaking thing too confusing. <sighs> I mean, I really do like what he did with the floor there and the whole, like, burn all of the vampires with a holy consecration thing. That's pretty freaking awesome, but, hmm. Well, so up. I knew it would come to this one day. I knew. And no one believed. What can you tell me about more about the Yarl card? Only what I've heard. Back in the second era, the Jarl of Riften had a son. Adventurous type. Too much for his own good, it seems. Wound up turning into a vampire. The Jarl, unable to kill his own son, spent a fortune building this keep and hiring men to guard it. Their job was to keep the Jarl's son contained within. They took it seriously and served honorably. They were eventually forced to put him down. The Jarl banished them from the hold, but they stuck to their cause. Fought vampires wherever they found them. I aim to continue that mission. Okay. So what can I do to help? The Jarl's in danger. A vampire plays as a visiting advisor to the court. Destroy it before it's able to complete its foul business. But be warned. Ooh. The Jarl's guards are unaware of the threat, and will treat violence against this advisor as a crime. Convince the Jarl of the threat, and he'll let you destroy the creature. If not, then do your best not to get caught. Cool. Quickly now. The longer you delay, the more danger the Jarl is in. Okay. Keep your eyes open. Alright, I'll go do that. Cool. I thought you wanted to go, like, talk to some... Oh, that was a side quest! Ah, okay. Oh, hello, Serena. How you doing? This vampire showed up while you were away. I'm guessing it's the one you found in Dim Hollow Crypt. Says it's got something really important to say to you. Okay. So let's hear it. Serena? You probably weren't expecting to see me again. No! <laughs> no, I was not. What's up? I'd rather not be here either, but I needed to talk to you. It's important, so please just listen. Before your friend here loses his patience. Yeah, he tends to do that. Well, it's about me, and the Elder Scroll that was buried with me. Uh, okay, so what about the scroll? The reason I had it, and why I was down there. It all comes back to my father. I'm guessing you figured this part out already, but my father's not exactly a good person. Even by vampire standards. Yeah, he's a dick. He wasn't always like that, though. There was... a turn. He stumbled onto this obscure prophecy and just kind of lost himself in it. Okay. What sort of prophecy do you mean? It's pointless and vague, like all prophecies. The part he latched onto said that vampires would no longer need to fear the sun. What? That's what he's after. He wants to control the sun. Have vampires control the world. What? Anyway, my mother and I didn't feel like inviting a war with all of Tamriel. So we tried to stop him. That's why I was sealed away with the scroll. Oh! Well! That is crazy. That is utterly crazy. You took a big risk coming here. I did. But something about you makes me think I can trust you. I hope I'm not wrong. I'm a good doggy. Woof. Woof. Uh, no, you're right. We just have to convince the others you're on our side. That, I mean, holy, like, you want to help us and stop this crazy thing from happening. I mean, God, you're awesome, Serene. I thought you were a complete bitch, but holy crap. Well, let's move then. I'm nothing if not persuasive. Of course you are. You're a vampire. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Figure that out, Barna. All right. Let's get this party started. All right. You've heard what it has to say. Now tell me. Is there any reason I shouldn't kill this blood-sucking fiend right now? Because we're going to need her help. Why? 
because of that story about the prophecy about some vampire trying to put the sun out. Uh -huh. Do you actually believe any of that? Bro, she's got an Elder Scroll, and why else would she risk her life to come here? With the Elder Scroll! Doesn't really make any sense otherwise. Who knows? Maybe it has a death wish. Maybe it's just insane. I don't really care. It can stay for now. But if it so much as lays a finger on anyone here, I'll hold you responsible. Got it. You hear me? Don't feel like a guest, because you're not. You're a resource. You're an asset. In the meantime, don't make me regret my sudden outburst of tolerance and generosity. Because if you do, your friend here is going to pay for it. Thank you for your kindness. I'll remember it the next time I'm feeling hungry. So, in case you didn't notice the giant thing on my back, I have the Elder Scroll with me. Uh-huh. Whatever it says, it will have something that can help us stop my father. Oh. But, of course, neither of us can read it. No. Who can? Well, the Moth Priests are the only ones I've heard of who can do it. They spend years preparing before they start reading them. Not that it helps us anyway, because they're all half a continent away. In Cyrodiil. Some Imperial scholar arrived in Skyrim a few days ago. I was staking out the road when I saw him pass by. Maybe that's your moth priest. But they're blind. Do you know where he's staying now? No. And I'm not going to waste men looking. We're fighting a war against your kind. And I intend to win it. You want to find him? Try talking to anyone who'd meet a traveler. Innkeepers and carriage drivers in the big cities, maybe. But you're on your own. Any idea how you're going to find a moth priest? Skyrim's a pretty big place. Hmm, ask carriage drivers and innkeepers. Where would a moth priest actually go? Well, back before I... You know. The College of Winterhold was the first place I'd think to go for any kind of magic or historical thing. The wizards know about all kinds of things that people probably shouldn't know about. Actually, now that I think of it, I'm going to come along with you. Please do. I've been really wanting to get out and explore a bit. Hmm. So we have Serena back. That is an unexpected twist. I thought we lost her completely because we didn't side with the vampires. Huh. That's cool. That's really cool. Um, can I trade stuff with you now? This better not be all the things you just can't be bothered with. <laughs> cool. That is awesome. I'll take Steel Arrow, those, and I will outfit you with... Oh, something. I gotta outfit you with something. Maybe later. Uh, yeah, you can just have that dagger for now. You have nothing else on you, though, so that'll be it. Alright. Cool. Cool. Very, very cool. Very, very awesome. So we have Serena back! Yeah, that's great! Great job. Fantastic. Alright. So it's Serena back. Let's go to something, something, something. Let's go back to, I guess, Dawn. No, 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 no. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Let's go back to, what's that place called? Oh my god. The place with the horse. The horse place. Uh, it's got the big forge. Can't remember. It's on the tip of my tongue. Whiterun. Yeah. We need to go there. Except, uh, more directly, we need to go to the stables in White Run. Because the they will have what we are looking for. Armored battle trolls. Oh my goodness gracious. That sounds amazing. Can't wait to see it. Okay, let's talk to our friend here and see if they has anything need a ride? for us. Have you seen a moth priest? It's one of them Imperial scholars, right? Old man with a gray robe. Uh-huh. That's right. You seen him? Might be that I have, but I can't say for sure. I got enough troubles on my mind just trying to scrape by out here. Uh, let's see if we can persuade him. Please, it's very important that I find him, really. Can't help you, friend. I might remember better if my pockets weren't so light. You dick! Oh, yes. I remember your moth priest now. He wanted me to take him out to Dragonbridge, but I told him it ain't one of my stops. Mm. Dragon Bridge. Mm -hmm. 
Dragon Bridge, Dragon Bridge, Dragon Bridge, Dragon Bridge. Okay. That is where we need to go next, then. But before we do, we do have a side quest. Let's see, actually. Here. Actually, I gotta pull my quest log. Uh. <laughs> where's my quest? Okay, here. Yeah. Start button. Uh, okay. There we go. Profit. Uh, Dawnstar. We need to go to Dawnstar to warn the Jarl of the vampire in Dawnstar. Okay. Cool. Alternatively, I guess we could just snipe him from a mile away. <laughs> that told him. Oh my god, Uncle Shagorat's freaking tips. Oh, so good. So good. Always funny. So let's warn the Jarl, if we can, about the imminent Divine thing. Sake, Skald, who do you Need think something? Our old war hey. Unless you're here to solve this nightmare problem, I don't need you. Oh, uh, there's a vampire and stuff. That's quite a bold claim. I'd need proof before I could possibly accept it. Okay. Find evidence linked to the vampire. What? Don't bother there must me have again been someone waiting important. for you back at the farm, wondering if you Evidence. were coming home. Visiting advisor. What do you want, cat? Oh, hey. Look, he's the, the advisor. You come to Dawnstar at a bad time. Tempers are fire. Uh, my duty is to guard Stay green America. Okay. Hmm. If you know any true sons and daughters of Skyrim, tell them to head to Windhelm. Okay. Okay. Do 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 Gotta get evidence. Evidence. What evidence? What evidence? Um. Uh, hmm. Is that the same advisor? I'm Skald oh, Talskarl, and head of his guard in Dawnstar. Okay. Where's the advisor, man? Where'd he go? He was right here, like two seconds ago. <sighs> yeah. Oh, there he is. Skald, if you don't mind, sir, I have a request. You. Have a request of me, Bullfrick. <laughs> He's got a lot of supplies in here. Hmm, so let's pick pocket. With the war going on. Pocket. Orders. Grab it. Think you can steal from what was that? Oh no! Hey, watch what you're doing. Help. Oh my goodness gracious, kill him, Serena. I am not having good times. <sighs> I knew I should have trained up my lockpicking. Or at least save the game before I tried to do that. That was really dumb. That was really dumb of me. Oh my god! Oh my god! Holy crap, why is he doing so much damage? Ah, this is bad! Um, 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 paralysis potion. Yes, yes, paralysis, go! I missed! Oh, what, what, why am I, oh my goodness, God, what even happened there? I suddenly just, like, glitched out and, eh, I shot him in the foot! Uh, okay, okay, good, okay, good. We got all these things, I'm gonna steal this, I'm gonna steal this, I'm gonna steal this. Uh, okay, let's just go back to Israel now. Oh my goodness, God! Whoa! Ah! <laughs> Not good for me. Oh. Okay, 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 okay. Next time, we need to prepare better for that. That was, that was bad. Detected. 
Guards are bad! Oh my god, is there anywhere I can hide? <sighs> this is horrible. Horrible! I've done a horrible thing! <gasps> oh no! Uh, spoilers. For anyone who hasn't played the Dark Brotherhood yet, I'm just gonna... Just gonna hang out in the Dawn Star Sanctuary, uh, just just for a second, and just let the heat die down. There we go. Whew. What a mess! What an incredible, stupid mess that was. You have committed ah! crimes against Skyrim and her people. What say you in your defense? Uh, ooh. I guess I could just pay it off. Smart man. Oh my god. Did I lose anything? No, okay. I don't think... I don't have any, like, stolen items or anything that... Just are screwed up, so... Okay. That was dumb. Let's go back to Isran really quick and... Update him on the side quest. See what we get for it, I guess. Because, uh, that was a little bit silly. Hopefully, we get more than a thousand gold, so I can at least cover my expenses for doing the dumb and, and dumb and dumbing it up. But at least we know how this works now. We need to either kill them quietly or pickpocket the orders from them, I guess. I guess that's just the two ways you can do it. Uh, cause I, I mean, I mean, that's what I'm assuming anyway, so we're gonna get out of my face. Um, yeah. Cause we're gonna, you downstairs, you upstairs. He would appear to be upstairs, okay. Let's take, I think, this way. Man, I'm gonna have to learn the setup of this place, or at least, like, get a map or something made. This is ridiculous. Okay. Be on your guard at all times. I destroyed the vampire. Good. Maybe now they'll afford the vampire threat a tad bit more respect. <laughs> cool. Stay alert. Okay, so we got just a ring of minor magicka for that. So I guess you do a side quest and you get a random magic item or something. Hmm. Interesting. Very, very interesting. I'm wondering if those actually scale with your level. So if you are really hurting for magic items, you could just basically come back here and do a quest and, uh, hooray. As far as I know. I mean, that's what I'm assuming you have to do. Anyway, okay. That's that. Let's go to Dragon Bridge and actually get on with the main storyline now. Oh, stretch. Okay. Let's see if we can talk to anyone around here. You're a well-traveled sort. I can tell just looking at you. Thanks. Um, you know anything about the moth priest visiting Dragon Bridge? Nah, I don't think so. What? What, what do you mean? Until what about you? Dragons breathing Same thing. fire. In uh, so that was a moth priest. Then. Uh huh. He rode through town not long ago with an escort of soldiers. They didn't stop, just headed south, across the Dragon Bridge. Mm-hmm. Search s along the road south of Dragon Bridge. Hmm. South Road. So I guess it would be this way, right? Because that's the South Road. So let's go this way and see if we can pick up the trail where this dude might have gone. Investigate the scene of the- Oh no! <sighs> of course, of course, of course, of course. If they could find these people, or if I could find these people, they could find them too. That's what I meant to say. Vampire. Vampire's note. Kolb and the dragon? What the hell's that? Crazy book. Some stuff. Alright. Hmm. Well, let's read this note and see if we got any stuff. It looks like when they attacked, it was kind of equal losses on both sides. Vampire's note. Read. 
I have a new orders for you. Prepare an ambush just south of Dragon Bridge. Take Moss Priest to Moss Priest. Oh my god. Oh my god. Forebear's hideout for safe keeping till I break the Okay. Forebear's holdout. Forebear's holdout. Serena, you know where that is? Effects of the Elder Scrolls. Effects of the Elder Scrolls. It is widely known among scholars that Elder Scrolls entail a certain hazard to their very reading. The mechanism of the effects has, at present, been largely unknown. Theories of hidden knowledge and divine retribution were the subject of idle speculation with little investigation. Hmm. 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 I will lay it plain. The Knives of Wonder has received no training on the history of the Elder Scrolls effectively inert. No prophecy can be described of knowledge obtained. Old Scroll will not impart learning to the uninformed. Nor will it affect them in any adverse fashion. Visually, the scroll will appear to be awash with odd lettering and symbols. Those who know their astronomy often claim to recognize the constellations and patterns and connections, but such conjecture is impossible to further investigate since the very nature of the same necessity. Great. That is the way the Elder Scrolls looked in, um, I think, Oblivion when you do the quest for the Thieves Guild. Interesting. Group second, the Unguarded Intellects. It is the second group that realizes the greatest danger from attempting to read the Elder Scrolls. This, these are subjects who have an understanding of the nature of the Elder Scrolls and possess sufficient knowledge to actually read what is inscribed there. They have not, however, built acute discipline to stave off the mind-shattering effect of having a glimpse at infinity. The TARDIS. These unfortunate souls are struck immediately, irrevocably, and completely blind, such as the price for overreaching one's faculties. It bears mentioning, though, that with the blindness also comes a fragment of that hidden knowledge. Whether that be the future, the past, or the deep natures of being is dependent on the individual in their place in the higher spheres, but the knowledge does come. Group third, meditating understanding. Da, 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 da. Ancestor moth. Da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. They also receive blindness, though at a far lesser magnitude than the unguarded. They. Da, 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 da. Interesting. Illuminated understanding. Between the previous group. And this one exists a continuum that has at present only been adversed by the monks of the Ancestor Moth. With continued readings, the monks become gradually more and more blind, but receive greater and more detailed knowledge. As they spend their waking hours pondering the revelation, they also receive a further degree of mental fortitude. There is, for every monk, a day of penultimate reading. When only The only knowledge the Elder Scroll imparts is that the monk's next reading will be his last. For each monk, the penultimate reading comes at a different and unknowable time. Preliminary work has been done to predict the occurrence by charting the severity of an individual monk's blindness, but all who reach these later stages report that the increasing blindness seems to taper with increased readings. Some pose the notion that some other unseen sense is in fact continuing to diminish at this upper range, but I will leave this postulation to philosophers. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Normally I wouldn't stop to read something like this, but considering what we're going through, I kind of wanted a little bit more backstory on what to expect with these Elder Scrolls. Okay, we need to rescue the Moth Priest now. So let's go in a general that way direction and see about getting this guy back on our side. Come, Shadow Mirror and Lady, who doesn't get a horse. Ha 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 You gotta walk. <laughs> okay. That was enough gloating. Can I get up this? Good pony. Alright. Any vampire friends out here? Good. Well, it would appear that this has suddenly turned into a rescue mission. We must go inside this cave and rescue the Ancestor Moth. But, um, 
my throat's starting to hurt. So I'm going to stop this recording right now and leave this part to pick up later. Thank you all for watching this wonderful, wonderful show. And, um... Serena loves you. Behold. Look upon the Elder Scroll and her boobies! More the Elder Scroll, because apparently she can tell. <laughs> she just randomly turns around right when I try to get in her face. No cleavage at all. Completely none. None. Zero. Zero. It's like they, they leave that little bit of chest available to you, but they do not go any lower or higher. The game designers are like, <laughs> we're going to tease them. Tease them! Ha ha ha! Ah ha 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 Right.